The M62 is one of Great Britain's most important roadway systems. It was built and opened in 1971. This is the only top, a section of the M62 located in the town of Huddersfield. The bridge going over the road was constructed in 1970. The image on the bottom left, published by Yorkshire Live 2015-2017, shows how it looked like when it was in construction. And what you saw is the current state. There's not, the, aside from the increased vegetation, there has not been any widening of lanes. Next we have the following stretch of the M62 at Scammondon Reservoir located between Scammondon, Moor and Outlane. The image you will see was published by Yorkshire Live and it showcases the Scammondon embankment during construction. It was completed and paved and opened in 1971. The reservoir was also opened by the Queen. This is Hartshead Moor, the section of the M62 in between Junction 25 and 26, going towards Dewsbury and Brickhouse. The image you see was published by Yorkshire Live, and this is what the current state of the Hartshead Moor is, and the image showcases what it looked like in 1973, not sh long after it opened. Finally, for the M62, we have the final stretch. This is a New Hay Road bridge. The M62 runs under this bridge. The image you will see is from Yorkshire Live, published 2015 or slash 2017, and is of the construction in 1969. It has came a long way since then. Next we have the Bringlass Chiswick flyover. This is a, one of the first sections of the M4 which was created and is argued to be the second motorway ever to have been opened in the UK as stated by the motorway archive. The Chiswick flyover when it was opened was only half a mile in length. Next, we have the Bringlass tunnels. They were in construction on 19th of October 1966. Though after they were opened in 1973, again they were closed due to resurfacing work. <laughs> 